Kia ora everybody and uh, welcome to Cornwall Park on a Saturday morning and it's uh, great to see some kind of clear skies in Auckland today and not much wind at the moment before this big storm hits uh, tomorrow but hopefully we'll get through three good games of rugby league here in the new, in the Auckland Rugby League Premiership for 2023. Uh, yes, we have a triple header to bring you today and looking forward to this first game up between the defending champions, the Manurewa Marlins and the Otara Scorpions. And uh, it's going to be an interesting game, this one, between these two sides. The Marlins obviously going to be the team to beat. They uh, generally have a very strong team, coached once again by Rusty Matua, who coached this team last year. Let's have a look at the Otara Scorpions team. There's a, a few counties players sneaking in here from last year's competition. Anissa, Anissa Biddle is one of those. A couple of 18s players coming through the system as well. Uh, Talia Oake, number six, is in that category. Uh, a few backing up from last year's team too. Mary Sulavi and Carleen Lesoa. Also, Joel Loto, who's locking we're playing at loose forward today. Here's the Manurewa Marlins team and uh, number 20, Amber Carney, a very experienced player. Of course, a, a former Kiwi Ferns player. Another player with international experience is Rikshay Lamalu. She played for Fetu Samoa in 2020. So there's a sprinkling of good players in there. Mary Jane Finau as well, number 11. Keep your eye on her. And as I touched on, Rusty Matu is the coach of this team. Well, joining me is uh, a retired Kiwi Ferns <laughs> player now. And, of course, a former Black Fern too, Charlotte Scanlon. Great to have you along, Charlotte. Oh, great to be here. And I'm really excited for this matchup. I think the landscape within uh, New Zealand Rugby League is really changing. And I think that it builds a stronger competition. 100%. And isn't it cool to have a triple header today? Yeah. Oh, the girls are frothing at the mouth for this. They've been waiting all season to really kick into it and to be able to have all three games here. Epic. Six. Uh, we've got seven team competition. Of course, we've got a team from Waikato playing as well. Tani Faro, generally pretty strong team as well, making the trip up to Auckland to play in the competition again. So we look forward to seeing them in the next round, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, they create some awesome opportunities for their girls. They've had a few players actually head over to Australia and play in the comp over there. Yeah, indeed. And, uh, of course, uh, later on in the day, we're going to see uh, all the other uh, four teams playing in the competition as well, including the City team, which has a, uh, a Hufanga playing in it. Really cool to see her playing and, and before she nips away to the Broncos to play in the NRLW later on in the year. So... We are almost set here for the start of this game, and uh, I tell you, it's very pleasant weather-wise too. I know, we really can't complain. A little bit of wind out there, but nothing too bad. It is expected to strengthen, though, that wind today, and uh, by the end of today, as we get around 3 or 4 o'clock, it could be quite strong coming across the field as we look at it from now, from left to right, as we're playing into this, uh, into this easterly breeze today here at Cornwall Park. It's going to be Manurewa to kick off. So thank you for joining us here as we look forward to what should be a, a terrific day of Women's Rugby League here. Here on the Auckland Rugby League YouTube channel. And straight away, here's a good strong return of the football from Fortu Moala. We'll know all about her as well. Metanoia Fortu Moala, another international player. She played for Tonga in 2020. Some good strong running up towards the halfway. Excellent post contact meters made right there and Otara are off to the races here good little short pass Lasua and yes I did wonder whether that pass to her with just a smidgen forward Charlotte and it's been ruled that way yeah I think it was a good start apart from this little bit of a mistake here uh, they got up the field nice and easy to be honest uh, I'm excited to see how this game's going to go yeah Lasua there uh, but the pass to her from Solovi was just a touch forward so, but this is encouraging signs for Otara with that huge uh, metres gained up the middle of the pitch. And now Manurewa have the chance to counter. With their first set, and they'll have it 30 metres out. And now their numbers are all over the place today, Manurewa. This is... Anna Allen, who's up right on the halfway line. And straight into the action goes Manu Kua, a new A representative from 2020, former upper central player as well. At Derby half is Joseph. 
And now here comes Manude. We're rolling forward nicely. Oh, a little mistake has been uh, just tipped on there by Jaden Rogers. And now Otara can come away with the ball again. And it's Solovey with some good signs by both teams actually up the middle early in this match, Charlotte. Yeah, and they seem to both be playing a, a bit sideways, um, really shifting that ball. Uh, they're attacking at the second roll, which is working for both of those teams. Yeah, indeed. So defensive test for both teams in that area. I think the nerves might be getting to them a bit. Um, hopefully they settle back down and they can complete a set. Yes, indeed. To Atara. Nice pass, and it brings the fullback Biddle in. She's got plenty of speed, Biddle. Oh, lovely footwork. Biddle, can she get there? Oh, lovely late pass. Fantastic try scored by Delai Loma Loma for Otara. And how about that classy run there from Anissa Biddle? Four points to nil. Oh, Anissa Biddle is a classy act. Uh, she's been in and around that Kiwi Fern space for a while now, and she just proved well why she can. Uh, beautiful backdoor play there. Uh, great footwork to finish and an offload. You wow. know, it doesn't get much better than that. Just love the graceful, elusive running. Didn't quite have the pace there, but they just had the awareness, Charlotte, yeah. to... Feed it to her winger. And in goes Florence Delay Loma Loma for the score. Now, tell you what, if Otara keep playing like this, they'll be right in this game. Definitely. Excellent start to them. So, four points to nil. And the Scorpions. Well, plenty of sting in their tail, if excuse the pun. <laughs> <laughs> but they're very early in the game to roll out that at four minutes in, Charlotte. But there you go. No, they'll be loving this as well, starting with a bang. I don't think you can count Manurewa out just yet, though. Uh, they're a team that does have a lot of experience. Um, like you said, Amber Carney, she's had years and years on a lot of these players, and at a really high level, uh, I think she's one to watch. There's a conversion attempt, and it's an excellent conversion, too, from McKinley Sararaka. So it's six points to nil. Great start here for Otara. So plenty of... Uh, you get the feeling this could be quite an open game with some good blend of powerful ball runners up in the middle of the field on both sides and clearly we've got some good pace and experience out wide as well. I think both teams are showing their shape early, which is awesome. Um, they're, they're not afraid to move that ball. Uh, it's going to be an exciting, fast-paced game, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to get all three games in that category today. There is, there is a sprinkling of talent all through all of the sides. So, just waiting for a ball. <laughs> Here we are, finally. <laughs> So early really testy here for Manurewa. So, Otara after that early try. They'll just want to get to their kick here in the very least. And here comes Fotu Mawala once again. Pretty powerful ball runner. Look out as she gets her hands on the ball lots in this game. And here's the next player up. It's Lu'u Sala. It's getting... good to see her back. Um, yeah. Getting some time in before she heads over to the Broncos. Yeah, indeed. And now we have Lesor. Gee, I tell you what, these uh, runners up the middle of the pitch are making metres at will. And now it's McKinley Sadaraka. She's 20 metres out. Rolling through nicely up the middle are uh, Otara. El Loto, out it comes to Fotu Moala once again. Plenty of early touches for her in the game. Still 20 metres out. Now Wake. Here's Biddle looming again. Look out, Biddle. 
Third all too <laughs> strong. How good. Well, I just said that important to get to their kick. Who needs a kick when you can <laughs> score a try? So Anessa Biddle set up the first scores to second, 10 nothing. What a great team try you've got there. You've got your half, uh, your hooker, sorry, jumping out. You've got your forwards running with power, playing the ball quickly. You've got your backs linking up. Like, there's a beautiful team try. Yeah, terrific try. And nice and handy by the post as well. A loving Biddle get involved in the game. She, she, I think she can sense that this is... Uh, could be a, a good day for her. Yeah, definitely. And I think every every fullback will say that when you've got a forward pack that's going forward, creating momentum, momentum it's a happy day. Indeed. So simple uh, conversion here, or a better position for McKinley Sararaka, who did well to convert the first try. Jeez, I'll tell you what, there will be some, uh, some serious talking going on in the Marlins here to... Maybe increase their line speed, get a bit more aggressive in the tackle, Charlotte. Try and slow the, the play down as we see McKinley Sararaka convert the try. 12 points to nil. Hot start here for Otara. Yeah, you just saw the Manurio Marlins just being a bit disjointed there um, in their defensive line, shooting up, trying to solve problems by themselves. They're definitely a team that when they work together are hard to stop. So let's see them trying to sharpen that line up a bit. Well, well, well. It's uh, going to be uh, interesting to see Manurewa 12 0 down early in this match. Just a feeling though they get their hands on the ball again. They'll be asking some questions of Otara's defence, but if Otara can get to their. can start to get their completion rate right up, they're going to be hard to stop in this game based on what we've seen in these first nine minutes. Yeah, Manu Rewa have really been starved of that ball. And like everyone knows, you need the ball. Oh, beautiful take. Wasn't that just gorgeous? Yeah, it was fantastic. Really good catch there from Talia Uake. Now here comes Fortu Mawala again. She's been riddled with injuries, so it's awesome to actually see her out there running. And looks like she's running well. And here's Nuosala once again. Late little offload too was a very clever one. And look at that, it's Otara on the halfway line already and rolling forward nicely out to this left-hand side. Big charge into the line by Malisi, but she's lost the ball. Good work there from Manurewa to disrupt possession. And now here's Ambakani. Never afraid to run it back, Ambakani. So Kani on the halfway line. And now here comes Manurewa once again through Jaden Rogers. She's lost it, but it's a penalty. Or is that a loose carry? It sounded like yes, definitely a penalty. You get that shrill of the whistle. I think that's exactly what Manurewa needed at the moment. They needed a bit of possession. They needed to be able to get up the field a bit faster. Um, they'll be happy to be able to play in their good ball. Well, they just took the tap to the Marlins. So up. Towards the 30 they come. Joseph at dummy half. Well, that's pretty sloppy from Manurewa. And Tara just drops it. And now Otara have possession again. And look out, it's Biddle again. Sniping and keeping close to the ruck as all good fullbacks do. And now here's Fortu Mawala again. How good has she been in the first few minutes of this game? She's been awesome. Even working over a bit to that left side, even though she's the right side, Sikoroa. Here comes the Osala again. Wow, the, uh, there are four or five hugely powerful ball runners in this Otara team. And here's another one. It's Lesoa. Carleen Lesoa down to the 10-meter line. Oh, Aneta is so hard to contain. She's powerful, <laughs> yeah. strong. Oh, good hands for Fortu Mawala. There's the post right there. And oh. I think she's just short. So Otara hunting their third try, and they get it. Over goes Mary Solovey under the posts. Otara Scorpions just unstoppable at the moment. And how good has she been out of dummy half? She's got so many options. She's been running. She's been giving early. She's been working those forwards. She's been directive. 
it's exactly what you need from a hooker. Yeah, she's been excellent. It's fun playing behind, you know, uh, players, though, that are making metres at will, though. Charlotte, yeah. you would have enjoyed those days in those games oh, that you played. Definitely. Having someone like Neto who can offload after how long in a tackle, that is just insane. 16 to nil. They're going a bit on a point in a minute at the moment. And if you're Manu Rewa, well, what should be the focus of your conversation right now, you reckon? Oh, you just need to change those error rates. You need the ball. It's the only way you're going to get into the game. Um, and when you don't have the ball, you just need to really slow that ruck down, like you said before. Uh, they're kind of letting them play, get numbers into the tackle. You know, really slow down those big, powerful runners. Well, there's another conversion going over from McKinley Sararaka. So she's three from three. And it's 18 points to nil. It's been a uh, very good day so far for the Scorpions. Those powerful ball runners up the middle. What the man over there, I just can't handle them at the moment. Two more games coming today. Of course, City playing Howick straight after this one. And then Mount Albert, new addition to the women's grade this year, playing Otahuhu. We're looking forward to those two games in our triple header today at Cornwall Park. Don't forget, on Wednesday night, we'll be at North Harbour Stadium for the first of our Wednesday night league double headers. It'll be great fun being out on Wednesday night at North Harbour and bringing you coverage of the Fox Memorial and the Women's League all the way through to conclusion of the season in August. So it's going to be good fun as Otara on their own 40. That's better defence that time from Manurewa. Slowing the player down, getting the player on their back. Here's Fortu Moala. Eyes are lining up again. Metanoa. Fortu Moala. Player on the inside. It is Wake. Back to Fortu Moala. Some great support play from Otara. As they make 50 metres, 60 metres on that play. It's Solofi at dummy half again. And now it's McKinley Sararaka. Out it comes to Anessa Biddle. This time she's wrapped up nicely. Good tackle coming in there from Laura Lee Nathan. But it's all Otara at the moment. McKinley Sararaka. And another try. Has been scored by Dila Loma Loma. And this Otara Scorpions team... They need hosing down. They are hot. Who needs to settle the play down when you can just offload and they're all just sticking? I think they've got glue on their hands. Wow. Just the quality of football so high. Oh, it's so good. Let's have a look at this try again. All set up, of course, with those two big runs from Fort Tumuala on the right edge. But it went out to the left, and that was just well-executed try. And you can see their fear is in a uh, hooker, even though she is your second row, she's directing. She's trying to fake that open side, and it works, and she goes the blind. It was beautiful. It was really good, wasn't it? I mean, it's, I'm watching Otari here. It's like they've been playing for the last six months, Charlotte. Not the first game of the <laughs> season, you know what I mean? It's just so, everything's so functioning so really effectively already. Yeah, their combinations are working out really well. Um, their second rowers are putting their hands up, their forwards are putting their hands up, um, and the backs are just finishing exactly what you need. There's the conversion attempt, and it was direction was good, just a little short there, so 22 points to nil. And wow, what a uh, scoreline that is. Manu Rewa, remember, are the defending champions of the Women's League here in Auckland. And they are getting a lesson today. Actually, their team is a lot different to the one that ended last season. So some new players coming through. 
yeah, they've lost a lot of their experience. I would like to see a bit more of Mary Jane Finau and Kali Takawa um, yeah. putting their hand up in those second rows, maybe just getting it to them a bit earlier to have a run and try and set that platform for them. Oh, they're just not getting the ball, though, are they? No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't. And even Lamalu, we've not seen her at all. And it's just been... I think they might have had two or three sets in the game. That's it. It's just the execution and completion rate of Otaro is just off the charts at the moment. Yeah, they're not even having to get to their kick, so I think Manudu will really need to start putting pressure on and keeping them down at the right end of the field for themselves. Yeah, trying to force an error somehow. As they try again. Oh, they're trying something different, short kick off, and that was touched inside the 10, I reckon. Yeah, and no, that's... offside was it? Or... Yeah, and that was going to be Otada possession again. Oh, yeah, not 10. Yeah. Just short of the 10 metre line. Well, based on what we've seen in this game so far, Charlotte, this is a try scoring opportunity right here for Otara again. <laughs> it is. They really need to get their line speed up, Manudewa. Just, oh, look at that. Oh. Straight 10 metres. Well, it's tapped again. And it free must have ruled a high tackle there. On Luke Wasala. Yep. Around the head. And now full set, 40 metres out. And here is Fortu Mawala again. First player up. They'll just set it up through their big forwards again. Nua Sala again. Great footwork laid at the line. Solovi waits at dummy half. Oh, is there a little error there? No, he's just ruling or asking the Manurewa players to move back as they look out on the left again. And here comes... Malasi this time. Another big player on this left edge. It's Lasor. Oh, yeah, Bacani almost stealing it. Now, how is that a try? Like fell over the line just then. Well, I think the referee had just called help no. beforehand. <laughs> Luckily for Manurewa, it might not matter. And here's Wake. Nice move. Here's Biddle up into the line. Plenty of yellow jumpers there. Biddle low. Biddle. She's just so elusive. She's got a lovely running style, hasn't she? She does. And Solofi at dummy half again. Hunting her second try. Oh, she got oh, it, it down. Like it yep, yeah. referee is happy. It's another try for Otara. Wow. 26 to nil. I think you saw there that uh, Manu Dewa once again just tried to solve those problems themselves. Um, I think if they go back into their team structure, uh, work together and get off the line faster, they'll be able to solve some of these problems. But at the moment, those forwards from Altara are just so powerful. They're making 10, 15 metres every time that it's just so easy for those backs to come in and finish the job. Yeah, it is. It's a fifth try already. Oh, it's a hard day for Manurewa. It's over they go to score again, and and now we have the goal kicker, McKinley Sararaka, in another handy conversion attempt coming up. It's a long season, and I don't think Manurewa can count themselves out. Uh, they've got an awesome coach in Rusty Matua, who's very, very experienced. He'll be able to impart some knowledge and some wisdom onto these young players and kind of get them up to where he, he knows the Manurewa Marlins can be. Indeed. She's kicking well. I like her style, too. Nice and relaxed. Four out of five, McKinley Sararaka. Still plenty of time left in this first half. Hope you're enjoying the coverage here of this triple header today. And uh, going to have games on Wednesday night as well. Interesting day of course of uh, Fox Memorial qualifiers today. Already got some teams confirmed in the Fox Premiership. Point Chev, Marist, Otahu and Bay Roskill are all in. But the other eight places are all up, up for grabs today. So uh, I, I love the way it's structured earlier on in the season, in the early in the season too. Charlotte, in the men's competition is uh, all the games mean something right off the bat. 
Yeah, and and you can see that they're working for it. All the guys are getting in and doing their pre-season and working off the Christmas treats. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, and, uh, and get back into the footy, which is great. So thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure to be with you here from Cornwall Park as we get set for a restart of play here. Manu Rewa down by 28 points to nil. Don't think anyone would have expected a scoreline like this. But I tell you, Otara are thoroughly deserving of this lead. They have been fantastic. I think you see his change of kicker just then. Rache Lamalu uh, taking the kick and already getting a bit further down the park. This is Robeck. And now his biddle again. Just need to slow the ruck down, Manurewa. Now here comes Malisi. He's on the halfway line. I think this is a better defensive set here from Manurewa. Um, that looked like tough contact, though. Here's Lasor again. He's been very impressive. Carleen Lasor and Solovey. But that's better. The kick was outside for 30. But it's not a bad kick from McKinley Sadanaka. Oh, it's still there. And oh, oh. it's still there. North Art have got it again. Can you believe it? Wow, it's Robeck who's got it. And this is Taylor made for Fortumawala, who's brushing off defenders again. Right on the line. Otara once more. A tough defensive set here for Manurewa. Can they hold them out? And that's been knocked down and should be. Ortada possession, it will be. Knocked down by Alexis Thompson. They're just saying, seeming a bit unstoppable at the moment, aren't they? Uh, Manurewa were good there with their defence and having to uh, force them to their kick. But however, they then got the ball back and it's just, they don't seem to go wrong, do they? No, they've got everything going for them today, haven't they? Have the Scorpions and look at the hunger in the ice too. There, they want more. So full set for Otara. Let's see if they can execute another try here. Straight into the scoring. It is going to be Aja Robek Lesor. And she's over for another try, the sixth for the Scorpions, 32 to nothing. And what a great line she ran. It was just nice and direct, just held up the pass just a little bit, took it right deep into the line, straight through the middle. Oh, well, well, it's just too tough. Otara, wonderful play. And... Another very handy conversion attempt coming up here. What a first half for Otara. And we still have got 15 minutes to play. It's extraordinary. I think the style, style that they're playing is reflective of kind of the pathways that's coming through Auckland Rugby League at the moment. Uh, the knowledge that's coming through, the, the upskilling of the coaches. Uh, we just currently took our under-17s team over to Australia and we absolutely annihilated the Australian teams. Uh, mm. And it just shows you the, the depth that we have here in New Zealand and the style of footy that we're kind of getting back to. This is what we used to be like. Absolutely. And it's, uh, I think you mentioned to you at the start, off here, Charlotte, it's just such an exciting time for, you know, if you're a, a, around that age group of that team, that 17-year-old. I mean, you've got the world is going to be your oyster in two to three years as, as more revenue floods into Women's Rugby League in Australia. And, we, of course, we get the Warriors starting up again here in hopefully, fingers crossed, 2025. Um, it's going to be an exciting time, isn't it? Oh, I, yeah, like you said, the world is their oyster. Uh, even some of these, these ladies here, they've got all the opportunity if they want it. Uh, and the way that they're playing, it definitely can be theirs. They've just got to put in that hard work. Absolutely. So Manurewa try again. Yeah, that Warriors team starting up again, women's team starting up again, I reckon... 
that team when that restarts is going to be stacked full of Kiwi players talented keen to come back and play in New Zealand as we see Biddle making another burst upfield here for Otara and getting to her feet quickly to play it Hetherington's out there now wearing 14 but Nuasala is damaging up the middle again she's down to the 20 good hands at dummy half from Malisi and now Biddle again who's been a real standout in this game Carrying players on her shoulders oh, and scoring <laughs> another try. Anessa Biddle over to score a double. What a terrific oh, try from Motara. And knocked down by her own teammate there. I think I just saw Anessa Norsala down in the back of the play there. Um, hopefully she's all right. What an imposing player Biddle is. Well, hopefully Norsala is okay. Might be cramping those big knees, I think. <laughs> those big calves, I should say. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. How about Biddle, though? I mean, she's got everything you want. She's elusive. She's powerful in the upper body. She's got pace. And she's got strength. Oh, just Too You don't good. see bumpers like that from a fullback very often. She's just pushing forwards off, left, right, and centre. Yeah, she could be. If she was in the forwards, she'd be just as effective I reckon oh I think so she'll be an amazing second row yeah absolutely I think she's someone that will be putting her hand up for that Warriors team and I think that's the kind of caliber that we should be trying to to pull in absolutely yeah that day can't come fast enough now I tell you who's having a very good game is McKinley Sararaka her goal kicking has been excellent she's only missed one <laughs> she's been she's been awesome it's something that I've actually seen a bit of a trend within the female game is that our kickers are getting 10 times better they're going out and they're really practicing they're getting some tips uh, yeah they're really slotting slotting them over she's six from seven in the game 40 points to nil wow what a score line So you recently retired, Charlotte. What are you doing with yourself now? I currently work for the Warriors Community Foundation. Uh, loving it. We go into schools and we actually help out uh, a bit. We've got a program called Tupumaya, which is a, a league well-being uh, program for intermediate age. So we're trying to get in that real, that real young age and try and just create really positive environments for our females going going up into high school. Oh, I bet that's fun. And I bet you'd, uh, you'd be getting a... Uh a great reaction to that, eh? Hey? Yeah, we we love it all, um, and we we also make sure that we give back to our league community by having our female deliverers be league players as well. We had Caitlin Vahakolo last year, Mackenzie Wiki, and both of them have gone on. Mackenzie with the Raiders, and Caitlin Vahakolo getting a Black Ferns contract. So I just think they're positive role models and representation of what we can be when we want to work hard. Absolutely. Well, that's a shame for Manurewa. They got a rare chance inside the 20 there of Otara, but just the hands leading them down just a tad. I think they just need to play a bit more simpler. Uh, just carry strong, play fast, uh, and just get to their points. Yeah, Otara. Well, we'll see if they can cook something up 10 metres outside their own line. They're playing with a lot of confidence. Robek Lesor. Slow play the ball is Hetherington. Roche having a little bit of a giggle to herself there. <laughs> She's looking at the ref saying, call me off, call me off. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Otara rolling through again, and it's Malisi once again up on the halfway line. Oh, we can play fast. We've got both markers down. Indeed. <laughs> Nice little inside ball back uh, to Biddle. Oh, well, she was hit hard by Amber Carney. Well, in fact, it hit hard by Kuroheke, rather, and, and the referee didn't like it. Thought that was a little too high. Great little inside ball from McKinley Sararaka. Yeah, oh, around, around the neck area. Amber Carney, where yeah. was it? Yeah. Here comes Otara once again. That's a better tackle. Good tackle coming in from Manurewa's number eight, Tara. And here comes Malisi once again. Good little late pass. Robek Lasor on the 
the 20. Pass just a little low, and unfortunately, McKinley Saranaka just had to dip down a little too much for that one. So Manu Rewa, well, they get a rare error out of the Otara team in this game. And we just think that they should be really getting, completing their sets should be their number one thing and getting to their kick, playing down the right side of the field. Well, what a man we were made of here. Eight minutes out from half time. And now they have the chance through Repia. Oh, a switch of play. <laughs> Oh, well, you've got to give it a crack, don't you? <laughs> Maybe got a little bit too clever on that occasion as Allen takes the tackle. Oh, the Marlins looking to just get to their kick. They're you know, looking a bit hesitant in their runs. Yeah, they are indeed, aren't someone they? someone just to put their hand up and just go for it. Joseph. And finalists last year for the Marlins. Still trapped inside their own half. Excellent defense coming in there from Watara. Fortu Mawala and Loto. Very powerful tackles. A bit more pace in that run from Jaden Rogers. Last play now for the Marlins. Got a bit of a roll on here on this right hand side as we see the kick go down from Lamalu. Good hands by Biddle. And Biddle again creating second phase play for the winger Delay Loma Loma. She's already got two tries. And here comes a third in the first half. Too much gas. 44 points to nil. They're just playing with so much confidence. I think that was the first. <laughs> and Biddle decides to offload and just knows that that winger is going to be able to just scoot down that edge, catch the Manurio Marlin sleeping a little bit, and just an easy try down that left edge. Good pace off the mark. Really took off right there, didn't she? And just left them for dead. I love she just backs herself. She didn't hesitate, didn't try any fancy footwork, just took off. Well, let's try number eight in the first half. Wow. They've really come out strong, Otara. I think we were talking before about how we were excited for this matchup. I think um, yeah. Manurio are uh, just a bit young at the moment. And there is another conversion, seventh of the first half for McKinley Sararaka 46 to nil I think when the other teams re-watch this back they're going to be a bit nervous Ooh. now to play Otara who's got Otara next week yeah. <laughs> 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 still five minutes to play until half time mm. wow can the Scorpions crack 50 before half time well, it's hard when you're 46-0 down, but uh, you just got to try and take the scoreboard out of it to start with, don't you? You do. You've just got to play with a bit of heart and also take this as a learning. Just keep trying to work on your processes, keep trying to slow your rucks down, getting your fundamentals right. Uh, it's just one game at the moment, uh, just focusing on the moment. Wind is strengthening here at Cornwall Park. I think by the time tomorrow's Roosters Warriors game rolls around at Mount Smart, Charlotte, we, we could be in the midst of some pretty serious weather for that game, to be fair. And hopefully that works for our advantage. Yeah, that's right. Uh, put Joey Manu under a bit of pressure. Yeah, that would be lovely. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully he's left his good hands at home. And that's a pretty oh. decent kickoff. Well gathered there, though, to not let that go out. It was Robeck who did brilliantly there. In fact, it was the winger. Wilton Benedict. Yeah, she did brilliantly there. And now Robeck at dummy half. And here comes Fortu Mawal, who's had a standout first half alongside many of these Otara players. Ooh, she's down, though. Looks like an Achilles, maybe. Well, let's hope she's okay. 
Comes from a very good rugby league family. So referee's she just does. pausing. Ooh. Her older sister, Tuila, is over in Australia playing, and her uh, twin sister is actually playing for the Howlicks in the next game. Yeah. And they're all really good players. They, um, you ever played with all of them? Uh, I have. I've coached one of them, but yeah. uh, played with Tuila with the Kiwi Ferns. Uh, they all play different positions, uh, if anything. Uh, Noya and Wheeler play a similar position, but then the other twin actually plays out in the centres. That's right. And she I remember her from a couple of years ago, damaging runner as well. Yes, we played together for Akarana. She is deadly and got some nice shoulders on her too. Yeah. No, she's okay for Tumuala, which is good. Lovely little pass at the, late pass at the line by Loto. Tackle is drifting a bit high-ish. The referee's allowing play to continue. Is McKinley Saranaka. Good play from her. Biddle, there's a gap for her. Biddle. And out it goes. Otara Cook cracking 50 here. And Delay Loma Loma. Another try for her. And a beautifully executed try again for Otara. They have got some skills in their players and in their team. She's waiting for confirmation of the try. It looked pretty good from... First look, and it is. There is the score, 50 to nil. They have cracked the half century before the break. I think she can gain a bit of confidence from that. Her other try, she's kind of been on the back end of everything. Uh, but this one, she actually had to do some work for herself. She had some great bumpers there. Uh, I think she even gave herself a bit of a fright because she went to go stop and then realised, oh, actually, I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> you see that cheeky smile like, oh, yep, no, I can score this. <laughs> well, in fact, uh, you would excuse me for my maths. That's her fourth try rather than yeah. her third try, her fourth try in the first half. And 50 points to nil. And now McKinley Sararaka, who's missed just one can she continue this phenomenal oh, record? She can. Beautiful. So eight from nine from her boot, 52 to nil. <laughs> and a big smile to finish. Wow. Well deserved. Well, it's nine tries in the first half. They're just running with so much confidence, backing each other up, playing with speed. I would like to see their right side get a bit more ball when yeah. it comes to uh, their shape. They seem to really connect on that left side well. Yeah, we haven't really seen Robek Lasor, Robek and Oake really see what they're capable of cooking up on this right-hand side, have they? And Fortu Mualu's playing on the right edge has been more used as a middle forward as well. And, and that's not surprising given how damaging <laughs> she can be. Yeah, definitely. You might be able to see maybe some short side shape. On that right side, if you've got Futumuala laying in that platform. Now we see Otara with one minute to play in this first half. And it's Futumuala again with the first, with the return of the football. So a real handful to bring down as all these runners are. And here comes Loto. Good run there from Jarrell. It was a good run, wasn't it? And now Otara steaming over the halfway line again. Hetherington waits at dummy half. McKinley Sadaraka again, that customary little late pass at the line. Better tackling that time from Manurewa. It's Robek Lesoa. Here's Biddle used as a decoy, and unfortunately, Dilai Lua Loma has dropped the ball that time. For Manurewa, rare error from the Scorpions. Good tackle from Hangai. And that will be the end of the first half after this play here from Amber Carney. And what a half of football from the Otara, Otara Scorpions. Nine tries in the first half. Absolutely streaking away with this game. They lead 
52 points to nil. The Fijian Cup, supporting grassroots Fiji. With international teams flying in to go up against the best club teams in Fiji. Over 50,000 in prizes for each sport. The Fijian Cup is placing a spotlight on untapped talent. A tournament like no other. Well, half time here at Cornwall Park. Otara Scorpions 52 to nil over the defending champions, Manurewa, after the first 40 minutes of game one on, in our triple header today. And it has been a try fest in the first half. There's been nine tries, and all of them have been pretty good. And here's one of the standouts here, Anessa Biddle. She stamped her foot on this game right from the start, didn't she? Involved in. Um, all of those tries in some way or another, whether it's been a carry, whether it's been her scoring the try, her bumping off players, her running uh, dummy lines. She's just been unstoppable today. Yeah, but all that was the first try she set up there. She scored the second one. And the third try from Solovey, just a simple dud over from the dummy half here, right under the posts. So a simple score there. And then Delay Lomeloma got her second try. The left winger, not long after. Again, She's execution. been another one to watch, isn't she? Uh, I personally don't know much about her, but I'll be watching for her in the future, that's for sure. Yep, second try, two more from her coming. A lot of these tries out on the left edge to Charlotte, with the next one coming from Robeck Lasore. Yeah, they seem to be settling in on their uh, right side, uh, posts and then shifting back to that left side and really doing their block to block shapes and um, using Biddle really effectively on that left edge. Robert Lasore getting that one and then the next try coming for Biddle. Just too strong in the upper body here. She carried players over the line here. That's great leg drive, isn't it? Go uh, over and score. And then Biddle laid offload at the line, and here comes Dila Loma Loma with a 70 metre run for her third try. They've really been linking up really well this whole game, both of those players. And uh, in, in, as a defender, who do you mark? Yeah. You, know? <laughs> it's you really tough. need that help from the insides to really be pushing and try and cover, cover both of those players. And then the left winger in for her fourth try, and again, beautifully executed play here. Set up on the inside, Biddle at the line. Now look at the space that's been created. Carney did well to get across there, but the Loma Loma, or Delay Loma Loma rather, strong, too strong to get through the tackle there, and then she goes to score again. You see Amber Carney just having a little giggle to herself. I know that she'll be finding that funny because she's actually a really good defender, and it's not normal for her to be bumped off like that. No, but again, might just show the strength of Delay Loma Loma. Well, 52 to nil, there'll be some... Not... There won't be too many people smiling now in that Manurewa team. Don't forget, we have two more games coming up today. City are playing Howick. And the City team is a combination of two sides that played last year, Ponsonby and Point Chev. Of course, you played for Point Chev last year, Charlotte, so that'll be interesting to see how that team goes with uh, Bronson Harden coaching that team again. 
Yeah, you see a lot of different players within that team now that they've joined. Um, as you see today, that with Aneta changing teams to Ōtara and then going over to Broncos. Um, but I'm really excited to see uh, Tanika Jazz have a run for the city. Yeah. Uh, Milu Hufanga having a jam before she heads over for the Broncos as well. Uh, it'll be good to kind of open up that space and see how they'll go against the Howard Hornets. Yeah, indeed. So that one's coming up. And then our last game today will feature Otahu against Mount Albert. So here's Otara playing into the wind now in the second half. Huge scoreline in their favour. And we'll see if Manurewa off the halftime break can execute something in this game. Tara with the first carry. And now here comes Manurewa through Korohiki. Nice little inside play and then comes Lysan Tara once again. See if they can cook something up here, Manurewa. It's better. Squeezing between those two defenders. Nice carry again by Manurewa as we see them try and open up this right edge. Tackling's good from Delai Loma Loma. Looks like the messaging from Rusty was just to play a bit simple. They've gone left to right, left, right, left, right of the ruck, getting to their kick. Let's see how the kick chases. Well, Lamalu's kick is taken by Biddle, who again is threatening straight away. Roche, hold on. Held on well then. <laughs> so Otata starting the set on their 20. And again making metres, Robek Lasor making 10 metres with that run. Kinley Sararaka. Up comes Delay Luma Luma with a hit up that time. The left winger. Again showing her versatility. Again, the one thing that Watar has done is it executed well there. Ball handling's been really good. Their passing's been accurate. Everything has been, all the basics have been executed well as we see Hetherington take the tackle up the middle. She's inside the 30 now. Almost winning a penalty there too for her team, Loto. Now McKinley Sararaka. Looking to create some indecision. Puts a nice big bomb up. Oh, what a catch. Another try. Talia Oake goes over to score a terrific score for Otara. Everything is just humming with gas. I think you'd have to be a little bit disappointed with the kick pressure there. She had all day to kick, um, but then she goes and executes it perfectly. A great chase, that's all you need, and an easy try again for them. Oh, great catch. Good kick in the end, wasn't it? It had plenty of height on it. Here's another player who's been shining really well, McKinley Sararaka. Not only has her goal kicking been good, but... Her general play has been good as well, and Oake goes over to score. County's 18s player from last year is Talia Oake. And here is the conversion attempt here for McKinley Sararaka, who's kicked nine goals now. She's having a great day, 58 points to nil. Yeah, I feel like she's a bit of an unsung hero on this back line. Uh, she's setting up most of the plays, uh, getting Biddle into space. Uh, she's played a couple of lovely short balls into the forwards as well. She's showing her hand. That's been awesome. Uh, clouding over just a bit now. That wind's just increasing as it forecast. Could be a bit breezy by the end of today. Might be a shower or two. Possibly happening as well today. For really closes in tomorrow. I think the girls will be hoping that the showers stay away though. Oh yeah. So yeah, but on Wednesday night league for you kicking off this Wednesday night from North Harbour Stadium. We're going to have both games streamed on YouTube on this channel. Sky Sport 4, of course, will feature the games as well. And uh, defending champion point, Chev. Men's team is going to be first up at 6 o'clock on Wednesday night. And then we're going to have Manurewa backing up here against Mount Albert. 
So we're looking forward to seeing what Manurewa can do off the back of this game right here. And there's a, just a lazy arm just sneaking up a little high there from Manurewa. Nothing too malicious in it from Jaden Rogers, but a penalty nonetheless. Yeah, that's not really how you want to start your defensive set. Uh, but in saying that, it's the middle of the field, so they're not kicking it out. There come Otara again. Good carry there, finding her front, playing fast, really catching those uh, markers off. Speaking look at that. Oh, fast, <laughs> it's bitter when we saw Cardi flying in there, trying to make a big shot. Didn't work that time, but Biddle, what a run from her. Good pass right in front of Oake. This is looking good for Tumawala. Can't quite free the hands. Here's Biddle again. Oh, she, yeah. She played it before the held, I think. Might have happened. No, he's getting her to play it again. Oh, lucky there. Just a bit of timing with the play of the ball. <laughs> for Tumawala. <laughs> playing the ball. Here's Oake who got that last try. McKinley Sararaka. She's got... The try line right there. Oh, did she reach over? I think she did. And look at the joy in the Otara team with the little halfback going over to score a try. Popular member of this team. And it's a second try in the second half for the Scorpions. I think she's really managed this game well. Uh, she hasn't tried to run too much herself. Uh, played to her outsides, played to her second rowers to then make them such a threat that the defence just slid off her then. Well, a good try for her right by the post again. So she's got a try. And the way she's kicking, she's got 10 goals coming up. So what's that, 24 points already for her if she converts this try. Not a bad haul. And you get the feeling she's going to be far from done. Yeah, with 33 minutes still to go on the clock. I really hope Manere will just dig in deep and really yeah. give it a good go. With Wednesday night footy, I think uh, with Mount Albert being a new team, I think they'll be excited to play. I think uh, on paper they would have been a bit nervous having the, champ the reigning champions for uh, second up, uh, but I think this will give them a bit more confidence to see how Otara has performed. Oh, for sure. I tell you what, the way Otara are going, if they keep playing like this, it's going to take a good team to beat them. Yeah, they're definitely one to watch this season. Uh, but as you know, the female game, you just don't quite know what's going to happen, who's going to come back from injuries. We do know the Manurewa Marlins have a few injuries that haven't actually played this game, uh, and that experience really helps. Yes, of course, one of those is going to be sitting in that chair very soon, Crystal Rota. <laughs> yes, and she will definitely direct those Manurewa Marlins around the park. I tell you uh, what, the thunder will be steaming out of her ears right now, won't it? <laughs> it will be. <laughs> She's got really high standards, and uh, she'll be making sure those forwards are running hard, making their tackles. Good kickoff for Manurewa. They've got the ball back here. They've got a full set inside Otara's 30. And if you've played on this field, you know you've got a bit of a downhill the way they're going. Uh, so here's hoping they can put some points on the board. So the Marlins. Try scoring opportunities have been few and far between and they've blown another one there. And it's picked up by Otara's Malisi. Are they just trying that? a little bit too much? They've only just got their hand back on the pull. Uh, I think even just letting your centre just run it. Uh, give early ball, let her do some footwork and try and play off the back of that. I know for a new player it can be quite daunting running straight off a scrum. So I think maybe a bit simpler would have been a better option. Raul Loto right on the halfway line. Now Biddle once again. Good tackle that time by Takawa. On her. There's McKinley Sararaka. Good little short ball to Mangale.
She's on the 30, Hetherington. Wake. That's rebounded nicely for the Marlins that time. And they have it through Jaden Rogers. Now what can they make of this? Some good, strong defense oh. coming in from Fortu Mawala. Strong contact. Great tackle tip. Flipping her on her back. Yeah, it was Anna Allen. He's the next player up, but the defense is good from the Scorpions. Been very good on both sides of the ball today. Chance for Peters here. Oh, good little run. Peters right on the halfway line. Get a set this time from Manurewa. Looking a little ambitious as they play, or adventurous is probably a more accurate word, as we see that player tied up right on the 40. There's uh, Lamalu with the kick. What can she cook up? The bounce is going to be critical here. Oh, it just didn't favour. That's unlucky. Yeah, just a tiny bit too much. So back to the 20 for a seven tackle set. Look, you have to give props to uh, Otara here. They're just, you can see every finer detail of what they're doing. They understand their processes, their markers, their defence. They're all working together. And you can see that they really understand what they're trying to achieve here. Yeah, beautiful execution as we see Justice Robeck play the ball there. A little bobble of the ball, but we gathered it. Yeah, it was well done by Robeck Lasore. Herrington, who's been good off the bench, now Biddle again right behind the ruck. Off she goes, scything through once more. Great little offload to Herrington, good hands. McKinley Sadaraka, this is excellent play. Oh, how about the pass? And Delay Loma Loma cut down just short. Great chase by Manurewa to stop the try, but Biddle's right there, and she's too powerful. And over she goes for another score. Anessa Biddle. Beautiful rugby league from the Scorpions once again. Anessa just doing what every good fullback does and just really spotting those tired forwards, hitting back into that block hole behind the ruck. Uh, it's really hard when they're playing fast footy to set your D-line. Um, so I think we just... Manu De will just really need to slow that player of the ball, otherwise players like Anessa are just going to slice you open. Well, it's a good chase by Peters to bring down Delay Loma Loma just short, but Biddle too powerful, and she scores her second try of the afternoon. Morning. <laughs> it's one minute to twelve. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> So here is the conversion attempt from McKinley Sararaka once again. She still only missed one of these conversions. 10 from 11. This one's more of a, more of a difficult one. And it's direction is good again, but it's short. 68 points to nil. Great day for the Scorpions. Their women's team, very, very good in this first game. See the players warming up on the outer, outer field. City versus Howick coming up next. And then our game three of the triple header today, Mount Albert versus Otahuhu. That City team's looking quite interesting, isn't it? Point Chef versus and Ponsonby combining into one team. Mm -hmm. Those two teams finished second and third last year, Charlotte, as you're well aware. Yeah. And, uh, you know, for the second and third place teams to combine into one team. Yeah, definitely. They they've got some, yeah, got some powerful runners. They've got Lani there at prop. Uh, she's played Akarana for a few years now. Devastating footwork. Uh, understands the game. So she'll be hard to handle. Uh, you've got Nancy, who's who's been a point chef stalwart, just really, again, another hard hitter. So she'll be good to watch as well. Yeah, it's going to be a neat couple of good, a few good, several good players across both teams mm -hmm. in that next game coming up. And now here comes Otara once again, Fotu Mawala. And now Biddle again, who just got that last try mm -hmm. hammered there. And a the referee's going to pull that one up. And the two players 
going in there to make the try of uh, the tackle. See if uh, we are around the head there. It's just by Mary Jane Fee now, just then. Mm. Uh, but you see, you give her a, a hug after. No love lost there. They're fine. <laughs> Here come the Scorpions again through Dana Mangale, who's off the interchange. Wake bringing forward to Moala back on the inside. Looking for another runner. She's found one there in Loto. <laughs> Caught her off guard too. Running, putting her mouth gun in at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did. Good ball playing from Malisi. Here is McKinley Sararaka. Biddle again. Looking good out on this left. Carney though in there to steal it. No, another penalty against Manurewa. More possession coming for the Scorpions. I think that was really selfless from Biddle there. I saw a massive hole on that right right mm. side. She could have just put a big step in and had a go underneath the post herself. But I love that she links up with her left side. Scorpions again through Hungai. Etherington. Kenley Sararaka, and now Loto, looking to get those arms free. Keep the play going. Good defence that time by the Marlins. Everington again. Walk in space. Here's Biddle once again. And out it comes to Wharton Benedict, close to the corner flag. And she stayed in the field of play just, says the touchy. Biddle at dummy half. 4-2 Moala, the eyes are lighting up. Oh, she's lost it. Good defence that time by the Marlins. Good goal line D that time, Charlotte. Yeah, and I think Manu Dua Marlins will be really excited by that. He's hoping they can complete a set and get to the kick. Good tackling from Otara. They're trying to keep Manu Dua pinned inside their, their own red zone here. There's Takawa taking on the 20. You can hear the Otara fans on the sideline, loving that one. <laughs> there we'll see Joseph. Now Manurewa again on the 30. Oh, great tackle there. That was executed perfectly, wasn't it? That was. Carney. Rare chance for her to run with the ball in this game. Former Kiwi Ferns player, of course. Alamali with the kick. Trying to find some space, but it's straight down the throat there of one of the Otara players. Oh, good footwork there. And away goes Robeck. Otara near the halfway line. Oh, look out. It's Biddle again. Getting around oh, Amber Carney's tackle. Her work rate has been immense this whole game. Hasn't it? Now throwing herself into the line goes Robeck Lasore. She's still going too. Very close to that 10 metre line. 15 metres out from the try line. Hetherington, they're going to keep it on the right hand side. And back comes Lasore once again. The starting prop is back out there now. I think lucky to get away with a bit of a high tackle there. Good hands from Lotto. Oh. And there's another score. The powerful ball runners up the middle of the field doing the damage this time. And it's Jarrell Lotto that goes over to score it. I love that for Jarrell. She's not a fancy player. She does a lot of work, unsung work. Uh, but just tucking the ball under, using her power, getting a meat pie. Look at that <laughs> smile. Good hands, too, from Lotto. Keanu's player from last year. And uh, there she is. Getting her team's 13th try. And he's in the score out to 72 to nil. So, nine tries in the first half. They've added another four now since halftime. And they're just carrying on. I guess that's the other thing, too, that's been impressive with Otara here, Charlotte, is the, you know, the scoreboard when it gets up to a massive margin like this. You know, the, the tendency could be to clock off a little bit. Yeah. 
but they haven't been, have they? No, they're, like, they're full noise. Uh, they haven't stopped. And what I've actually really enjoyed is that they're still working as a team, I know, in games like this. It becomes a bit easy to kind of just run and do everything yourself because you're making so many metres. But they're still working and they're still doing everything as a team, connecting, um, using the back doors, forwards are doing their role. Oh, Jarrell with a big smile <laughs> there to the camera. Well done. Give yourself a clap, sis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. 74 points to the Howick, remember, in City coming up, Mount Albert Otahu today in these uh, in this triple header. I've also liked how the props have come on. You've had the experience of Aneta Noa go off the field, but the standard hasn't dropped. Uh, you can really see what they've been working on at training, and they're putting it in the game. The coach is going to be happy. Yeah, Lewis Papali'i. It's a very famous name, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. Great league name. Alamalu well, again to kick off. And Bacani as well having a good chuckle. That's all business from the Scorpions. Carlin Lesore. Beautiful fans. Hasn't she been good, Lesore? A good tackle from Mary Jane there. Yeah, female looking for a little error there, didn't get one. And now up comes Melissi over the halfway line, or rather on the 40. Melissi a bit slow to get up that time as a couple of those Manurewa players. Now they saw her again, charging into the line. I think a bit of confusion there from the Manurewa players. There was about five of them around the ruck. Next player up is Melissi. Second carry of the set for her, just like they saw. Lotto. Plays a bit of football this time with McKinley. Saranaka, oh. that's a great short ball. And through goes Hangai to score another one. Marina Hangai, 78 to nil. What a beautiful block-to-block -block shape that they ran just then. Uh, I love taking that that front door as a as a previous second row myself. I always hated when they went back door to back door, but uh, <laughs> as you can see, Jarrell taking it nice and deep into the line, uh, fixing Rache, which means she doesn't get to come off her player, and then that beautiful short ball. Good footwork to finish too. Yeah, Hangway coming back towards the posts. Again, some good play from McKinley Sararaka in the lead up there. She's been doing everything right. The number seven today, change of goal kicker now, Talia Oake. She's going to have a go. McKinley Sararaka just pauses there for the meantime. 11 from 13. Successful kicks today. You'd have to be proud of that. Absolutely. But looking at this team, I wouldn't be surprised if you see her out practicing her goal kicking even more this week. Yeah. To make it 13 out of 13. <laughs> well, these scores, uh, this score is racking up now. 80 points to nil. What a scoreline. Remember, Ma the Manurewa team are the defeating champs from last year. Well, it's going to be interesting to see if they can come back from something like this. Who knows? You wouldn't count against them. Charlotte, they've got such a rich, rich history in, in women's rugby league, haven't they? They do, and they're just such proud people. Um, you know, when you're deep in the south like that, you, you, you've you got your own community and you're really excited. They, they love rugby league from there. And with a coach, a coach like Rusty Matua, uh, you just also know that players like Amber Carney, um, Mary Jane, they can kind of open up a game, Kali Takawa. Mm. Um, so here's hoping that they can cross over today. Yeah, flush this one and move on. That's yeah. really all you can do now. Exactly, and you've heard it time and time again through um, them saying reset. You know, they're here, they're here to play, uh, and I think the scoreline doesn't quite reflect their effort. Well, let's see what they can do in these last 15, 16 minutes. Here comes Otara Scorpions as Lasoa hit hard that time. Great double shot there. Mary Jane Finau 
And also Tara lined her up. But she loved it, Lasso. Got up smiling. <laughs> Here's Malisi. Driven back strongly too. This is more like it from the Marlins. There's the error. Well, referee's going to allow Otara to continue to have possession. How it was called, ref was pulling them back. <laughs> Fear trying to get a couple of extra metres. <laughs> <laughs> So the Scorpions, still hungry for more tries. They've had 14 in the game. Great hands from Delay Loma Loma. Biddle's on her outside. Does brilliantly to stay in the field of play, but she's dropped it eventually. Great covering defense there. Uh, that was all heart. Great, great combination from Delay Loma Loma and Biddle. We've carved up on this left hand side. So the Marlins going to get possession. Well, they really had, they've only really had a couple of chances to score tries in this first half. Haven't they? It's been. Uh, Unusual not to see Manurewa at least create a few more opportunities, Charlotte, in this game. Yeah, I think it's definitely the first, being the first game of the season. Oh, there you go with Roche with a bit of a run. I think that's what we need. We just need those senior players to kind of step up, put their hand up and kind of lead the way for these younger players. Good defence coming in that time. You can see Solovi is back out there now. The number nine for the Scorpions. Here's Finau. Down to the 30, come the Marlins. A little bit sloppy there for Joseph. And now here comes Tara once again. It's a good tackle on Allen. 20 metres out the Marlins. Kudu Petty is out there now for some game time as Rogers takes the next carry. Better here from the Marlins, Lamalu. Oh, the kick is going to fall for Biddle. I think there might have been a knock-on. Yes, the referee has picked that up. Good kick from Lamalu. Just getting the error. So, Manurewa, full set here inside the 10. That was a way better set from uh, the Marlins there. Uh, playing nice and direct, putting their hand up, playing fast, catching those markers off, and then getting to a kick and putting a bit of pressure on. I think if you see another set completion here, you'll see a try. Uh, yeah. It's just holding on to the ball. Well, he's hoping for them. Good to get them off the donut. Here's Lamalu. Try line's right there for Manurewa. Joseph at dummy half. Here's Lamalu. Lamalu with a good step, but... She's taken short. Some good D again from the Scorpions right on their own line. Can they hold them out here? Here's a charge coming in from Manukoa. But again, the defence is up to it for the Scorpions. Joseph. Tara. Taken strongly by Lasor, who's been very good in this game. Joseph. Wide on this left-hand side, getting close once more. This is defense Finau. is awesome. It is, isn't it? That's better from oh. Joseph. Finau's Finau. right there. there Mary go. Jane Finau's got the try. And there is the score for Manurewa. 11 minutes out from full time. I think they should be happy with that. Uh, coming off the back of their first set and the pressure that they placed after the kick to then just keeping it nice and simple uh, playing nice and direct to start with and then moving it a little bit linking with your nice strong powerful runner to cross over so a consolation try for the Marlins 
And, uh, well, some resolute defence from Otada. Just couldn't quite hang on. Eighty points to four. What a game for the Scorpions! And there's still ten minutes to play. Rache Lamalu lining up this conversion attempt. The Samoan international. Nicely done. Well, they're on the board. I also think coming off an, uh, a defensive game like this, being able to pick your nose up and have a, have a good crack at the end of a game is positive. Because, uh, you know, first game of the season, those bodies are going to be hurting, those legs are going to be sore, their shoulders are going to be sore, and they're going to be really tired. Uh, so good on the Manu Deo Marlins for crossing. Well, at least they're still smiling and having fun. <laughs> That's what it's all about. What do you do if you're Rusty Martu? Do you, the next training's going to be interesting, Charlotte, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, I think a, a bit of that is the footy IQ with some of the younger players, their mm. understanding of you know, set completions, deep sets, and playing in the right area of the field. Uh, taking that pressure off, uh, you'd also want to kind of look at how do you slow that player the ball, ball down. Yeah, got to get real more dominant on the tackle. Definitely, like every coach likes to say, defence wins games. Absolutely. The Scorps have been amazing with it. Their three-person three, three -person tackle has been awesome. Getting them on their back, shoulder on. Look at that head, nice and tight. have to go back to play it do the Marlins Manu Kaur in fact the referee might have stopped play for an injury in fact well, that's not good if it's come off a kick off yeah it looks like it uh, might be McKinley Sararaka who's uh... hopefully not when she kept yeah and something to her calf muscle maybe mm. Maybe a bit of cramp. Which is common in the first, you know, first yeah. game of the season. A bit of cramp, muscles tightening. Uh, the Scorps especially have been doing a lot of a lot of running, a lot of Ks on those legs, going up and down the field. And she's been one of the best, hasn't she? She general, has. General play's been excellent. And her goal kicking two first class, eleven from thirteen, scored a try as well. Yeah, she's been linking well with all of her players. Yeah. She's been outstanding today. Yeah. Well, no point risking her for the last eight minutes if they... Uh, if that is going to happen, because this game is safe. Next game coming up is going to feature Howick against City. And uh, that one kicking off pretty much straight after the conclusion of this game. You can see the two teams, uh, one of the teams warming up in the background there here at Cornwall Park. You've got Fia there standing to the left-hand side just checking on her player. She's a DO for Counties Manukau Rugby League. Uh, a great ambassador of the game. <laughs> I was a bit confused at how they were picking her up just then. <laughs> there you go. That's how to do it. But there's clearly a little bit of concern there, isn't there? I definitely think it might be cramp with the way they're holding her, her toe up. She, <laughs> she is not happy, is she? McKinley Sararaka. Get the pickle juice out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely cramp, That's which right. is a positive sign. Well, she doesn't look positive at the moment, but it'll be good after the game. <laughs> I think that's just, uh, that'll have to go down as the most awkward carry-off of a player <laughs> I've ever seen. 
<laughs> yeah? Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Time back on here with Manurewa. Back into it again. Again, that tackle tech from the Scorps. It's just, look at the marker defence. Both understanding their roles. Yeah, up comes the defensive line making the next tackle. Everything going well for the Scorpions in this game. It's far too good for Manurewa. As Lamalu hit hard by... The outside backs for Otara that time. Delay Loma Loma and Robek Lasoa. Here's Joseph for the little dart. This is a good oh. run. One of the best runs of the game for the Marlins. Good tackle from Bidolo. Absolutely nailed her. Beautiful. Even rolled her on the, on the ground as well to land on top. Here's Lamalu looking to measure this kick. Always bouncing. It's uh, tricky. And it's picked up on that far side. But... Otara have it back. They will to go forward off a Manurewa player, so it's going to be the Scorpions' possession. Not a bad set there from the Manurewa Marlins. Uh. Lesoa in that dummy half. And here comes the first carry from... Georgia Wharton Benedict. So Levy at dummy half now. And here's Biddle again looking for some space up behind the ruck and she's found some. Ooh, good strong contact but Biddle look at her take players again with her on her shoulders. I think it took four players to get her down in the end. She's right on the halfway line. Solovey. And now here comes Delay Loma Loma with a carry off the wing. Good tackle. In fact, it was Robek Lasoa with that carry, in fact. And now here comes Malisi. Good defence that time from Manurewa. Loto. It's Hetherington. Good tackle on the upper body of Robek Lasoa. For Manurewa. Grimly defending again as we... Get down to the last tackle for the Scorpions here. There's the kick from Heverington. And the bounce does favour Manurewa that time. It's going to be a seven tackle set from the 20. The scoring seems to have slowed down a little bit here from the Scorps. Uh, I think that's also Manurewa's defence has been a little bit better this end of the game. Yes, it has. It's certainly improved a little bit, hasn't it? No doubt about it. That's Logan Pudi, Pudu Penny, rather, with that first carry. Scorpions through. Lasor and Lotor make the tackle. 15 metres from halfway. Again, some good, robust defence from Justin Robeck and Manurewa. Still inside their own half. Looking to play a bit of football. That's a nice play back to Finau, the try scorer. Over the halfway line she goes. Ooh, could have been a penalty there for holding on, but not to be as Joseph makes a little dart. Makes 15 metres. And Hungai making the tackle. We had a rugby league now by Manurewa. Lamalu. With the big dummy. <laughs> and now the last play for the Marlins. Good handling this time from them. Nathan yes, hit hard, wasn't she? What a shot there. And I think that was... I think that was Robic Lasor with that tackle. Might have even been the winger, Justin Robic, who, or Justice Robic, who came in rather. And here's Biddle off and running for Otara again. I don't think that was a bad option running the ball. I just don't think all the Manurewa players were on the same page with it. Well, a couple of Manurewa players have been gone down in the back play there, which means we're going to get another pause to proceedings. Might have been an accidental collision there between those two players who, yeah, both around their head. The old accidental head clash. We 
need another trainer out there for that second player. She left her own devices, <laughs> yes. isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Other than Fina there. She looked all right. I think maybe just having a bit of a rest, a bit of a having a moment to realise what just happened. Yeah. Well, 80 points to six is the score. So we might have another cramp in the yeah. <laughs> for the Scorps as well. Oh, look at all those cars in the background. Yeah, How many people are here today? Pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. Triple here today. Course for the next game coming soon. So the two players hopefully are okay. Pudi Hudu Peri is one. Look like <laughs> Lizan Tara was the other. Hopefully they'll be all right. Both having a laugh to themselves. Realising it was friendly fire. <laughs> uh, Delay Loma Loma too, struggling with that cramp. She just wants to play it and get on with it. <laughs> Solovey. Mm. To Mawala. Hasn't she been outstanding today? Just doing her job and doing it really effectively, carrying strong, playing fast. Yeah, looking good here, Solovi. Now Loto. Oh, one, a little mistake, a rare mistake there by the Scorpions, and Manurewa have the ball. And now they've got it on the halfway line. What can they do with us, Lamalu? comes and five meters in from touch Manure will have it chance for them to score a second consolation try maybe in the last few minutes here's Lamalu takes the contact for the Marlins it's Joseph good carry here good tackle though the tackle has been really good by Hortada right through the game and their line only breached once in the contest. That was Nathan's pass going to ground. Picked up nicely by Allen. Looking better this time, Manurewa. Oh, good awareness there to step inside. Just a few metres out now. Can they get their second try near the end of the game? Some good tackling by Otara as Fina tries to drive over for a second. She's right on the line there, and it's the last tackle now. Oh, Joseph has lost it. Backwards. It's messy. Still oh, got it here. Carly oh. <laughs> the car was pass, and it's gone to ground now, just out from the goal line, and the Scorpions goal line D, another tick. Yeah, they've got to be proud of their efforts today. Uh, as a coach, what do you do? Just refine it now. <laughs> I know. Well, well, as I said, you know, could it, you know, Manu, uh, well, the Scorpions could have dropped their bundle there with the score line mm. as we touched on, but they haven't, have they? Oh, they They're haven't. playing the game for 80 minutes. Oh, another great carry. Oh, Eli Loma Loma, not impressed there, but it was a very good run from her, and there's another excellent one from Robeck Lasor. Hetherington. Biddle. They're just playing with such intensity this whole game. All putting their hand up, all wanting to run the ball. We are there at the play the there. ball. Oh. <laughs> so Manorewa got the scrum. In these last few seconds. I'd also love to give a shout out to the, all, everyone watching over in Australia. We had Paris Pickering actually message oh, through and say nice. good work on the commentating. We love that. We love to see how, how far our broadcast is getting. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, good to hear Paris Pickering. She's a talented <laughs> player, right? Isn't she? Can't wait for her to come back. Yeah, she's going to be a fantastic player for New Zealand down the track. No doubt about that. 
The last play now have the game, Lamalu. It's going to be an old-fashioned kick and chase. And pretty apt that Anessa Biddle has the last play of the game. She's been a superb standout in this contest as Otara start their 2023 campaign in sensational fashion with a big win over the defending champions, the Manurewa Marlins. 80 points to six. Thanks, Charlotte. Oh, thank you. It's been awesome. Um, and as you can see, all the hugs going on down there, it just shows you how close the community here is in New Zealand and how awesome it is to play rugby league yeah. up here in Auckland. Absolutely. Well, that's one of three games done today here in the first round of the Women's League for 2023, the Auckland Women's League. Full-time score, 80-6 to six to the Scorpions. We'll be back for our second game shortly at 12.40 between Howick and City.